This hack for Midjourney will allow you to upscale your version 6 images by four times, which typically isn't what you're able to do. So this image here you can see I've made with version 6. And this is just the first grid. If I decide to upscale this second picture, the image I get is 1024 by 1024 pixels. And if I decide that I want to upscale subtle or creative, this upscaled image is 2048 by 2048. And that's the most we can get out of version six. But this hack will allow you to go 4X instead of 2X with version six. Now to make sure this hack works, we're gonna to go to slash settings and make sure that remix mode is turned on. If this button isn't green, click it so it turns green. Then we scroll back up to our original upscale, not the subtle one I created. We actually don't need that. We're just gonna come back to our original upscale that we hit and we're gonna click on vary region. And because we have Remix turned on, we can change our prompt. I'm gonna change the version to 5.2 at the end here. So if it doesn't show up there, type in dash dash V space 5.2. And then I can grab my square and just kind of create a selection on the outside of the frame. And then I click submit. And now we get another grid of images. And you can see here it was made with version 5.2. And because we didn't select anything inside the image, that image is, should basically be the same. So I'm gonna upscale one of these, it doesn't matter which one, I'll click upscale two, scroll down, and you can see here now we have upscale two and upscale four options, and it's the exact same image. I'm gonna compare this in Photoshop, I'm gonna click upscale 4X, and let that upscale, and now you can see here we have our upscale, it says here to redo, so we've been upscaled by 4X. So now I log into the Mid Journey website, I head to my archive, I can find these images. This is the last one here. You can see here we've got our upscale 4X. I'm going to download that. And I'm also going to go through and download the others for comparison. So now I'm in Photoshop and this is our original image. And if I switch over, and I'm zoomed in a bit, but if I zoom out a little, you can see the full image and I've got the images layered over here. So I've just got the original activated. Now, if I turn on the very region, you'll see it's no different. I've been turning it on or off and you can't see there's any change in the image. So the varied region has kept that image exactly the same. However, this 4X method is not perfect and I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm gonna go, first of all, let's open up the creative upscale, which I also did. And you can see how it changes the image a fair bit. Now, this is the only way we can get the image to go further and change is by using the creative upscale because it kind of continues to process and add more to that image. Just want to show you how it's different from the subtle upscale, which retains the same layout, but sharpens things up. So this is 2096 by 2096. And if I zoom in on the eye in this area here, you'll see from the creative upscale to the original how the quality changes and it's nice and sharp. Now, while this image is smaller than the 4X, if I turn on the 4X, it's actually notably fuzzier. It's not pixelated and it doesn't really have any like sort of really severe issues, but it is slightly fuzzy. So depending on what you're after, this may not be the most suitable way to do things. But you can see here, around here, everything looks clean. It just is not as sharp as the subtle upscale so you may want to consider that it's not as good of an upscaler as the subtle or creative upscalers, but it's still a 4X and something you can use if you desperately need that resolution. And even some of the stuff here doesn't look too bad. It's just not quite as sharp as this. But there's actually another solution and I'm gonna head on over and check out Leonardo AI. So this is Leonardo AI and I've popped a link in the video description, but they have a universal upscaler that you can use. Now I've already added my image in and you can't use the 4X image simply because it's too big for Leonardo to upscale. But if I bring in the subtle upscale into this top left area here, I have my image and I can upscale 150 points and depending on your plan, now this, you will need a pro plan for this, but it's very cheap. I'm gonna check that out in a minute. Uh, I can come down here and you can see I can get the multiplier up so I can upscale that by two, up to 4096 by 4096. Now, if you don't want it to go too far, bring the creativity strength down to about three, but it will use stable diffusion to generate detail and sharpen the image. So this is our image here, and these are the settings I used and I created, I created this image here. So you can kind of see the before and after. I'm gonna zoom in, so 300%. So you can see here on the left is before, the right is the after. You can see how it's introduced that detail. And this is probably the best upscale we can get for this particular image using version six of Mid Journey. 
So you do have the option of doing that. Now, if you want to use the mid-journey upscaler, unfortunately, once you start getting into the realm of upscaling, you'll start paying for money simply because of the fact that it uses a lot of server power. But I'm going to download this as well so we can check it out at the end of the video. If you do decide to go with Leonardo AI, it's as little as about $10 a month so for 8,500 tokens. So that's a lot of upscales if you're doing larger upscales. So that's something that you can use pretty effectively if you want to upscale to a larger size. Now, final option here is Topaz Gigapixel. So this will actually allow you to 6X your upscale. But what I recommend is using Upscale Subtle and bringing that in so you can get an image that is up to 12,000 by 12,000 pixels. So if I zoom in on a few key areas like the eye, you'll see how it kind of introduces detail without affecting the layout of the image. I'll zoom out a little bit and you can see how it's improved that image. We can also go over here to some of the more whiskery bits. You see it's refined that hair and done a pretty good job. And there's also a few different models you can try. I'm using the standard default model. I can go to, if I bring this over a bit towards the eye, this is standard. This is art and CG, which has a cleaner appearance, but not quite as sharp, but still quite powerful. There's lines, but this doesn't really suit this type of image. So high fidelity does a good job. There's also just standard version one. Back to standard version two, I like the standard ones the best. They seem to do the best job. So once again, I can save that image. Okay, so we're back in Photoshop and now we're gonna compare the Leonardo AI upscale to what we got in Mid Journey. So once again, if I zoom in, now I've made this image quite large, but this is our 4X upscale, our subtle upscale. And if I introduce the Leonardo AI upscale, you'll see how much sharper that is. This is at 4096 by 4096 pixels. If I really zoom in, you can see the difference in detail between the Leonardo AI and the 4X from Mid Journey. So, so it's definitely a more advanced upscaler if that's the way you wanna go because it actually generates more detail. And if I compare Leonardo AI directly to the subtle upscale, you'll notice the sharpness is actually similar. It's just a higher resolution image and has a little bit more detail to fill that in. So that is a nice next step. If you only wanna pay about $10 or so a month, you can use Leonardo AI to get a bunch of upscales that way, which is pretty handy. But if you were willing to pay a bit extra and go for say the Topaz Gigapixel solution, this image is 12,288 pixels by 12,288 pixels, the biggest one so far. And that was only upscaling the subtle upscale. You can get issues trying to upscale much larger than that, so you could try to upscale Leonardo one, but you might get a few crashes and things like that. But this image is gigantic. If I go to one to one, you can see just how big it is. This is the eye. If I go to the Leonardo AI upscale, you will notice that the resolution is not quite as nice. However, Topaz Gigapixel doesn't generate as much detail as Leonardo AI. So it has a softer appearance, even though the detail is sharp. But when you're looking at it from a distance, Leonardo AI has added more rough sort of like hair and items in there to kind of take it to the next level. Whereas the Topaz Gigapixel is smoother. But if you need a very large image, Topaz Gigapixel is still pretty much the standard for getting the best results. Keeping in mind that if you need to fix details, the Leonardo AI upscale, if you bring the creativity up, you can still develop that image further. So it is a different kind of upscaler and will work better for different sort of use, uses than say Topaz Gigapixel. There's a link to all these in the description, by the way. But so this image, 12,000 by 288 pixels is pretty huge. And this could be printed on pretty much anything because if you look at say 1200, if so you look at say 12,000 pixels, if you convert that to say 300 DPI, so 300 pixels per inch, you can essentially print it at 40 inches by 40 inches at 300 DPI. And when you're printing at that size, you don't need 300 DPI. And if you're wondering how I know that, I worked in a commercial printer for over a decade. And the only thing you need to worry about is how many pixels are in the image. And that is what makes up the 300 DPI. Every 300 pixels is good for one inch of print. Please ignore the resolution on your file and calculate this yourself if you wanna get the proper resolution. As you can see on screen here, when I change the DPI, it changes the pixel resolution of the image at 10 inches by 10 inches. Just to sort of show you what I mean. But uh, this image you could print on anything, pretty much anything, and it would be sharp. I can zoom out. If I zoom right into one to one again, you can see how gigantic this image really is and how some areas are nice and blurred, some areas are nice and sharp. We come down to that eye. If I turn off all the others and we go to the original, that is how far we've come from here to there. 
pretty amazing. So that's given you a few options on how to upscale with MidJourney, including that nice little hack. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please consider giving it a like. Check out the links in the description below if you want to play with these for yourself. There's free trials for all this stuff. Otherwise, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and I hope to see you again next time.